sin. They will not acknowledge this burden. They live careless and profane lives. And they're interested only in the pleasures of this world. And they give their souls not one thought. Christ does not promise them rest. They are guilty. They are depraved. They are polluted. They are slaves to sin. All of this is true. But they will not acknowledge it. And they do not feel it. Or understand it. And believe it. And they will not come to Christ. And Christ does not promise to them rest. But since this promise is only to the burdened, Christ's words here imply an urgent call to be burdened. Self-righteous sinners must wake up to the fact that their righteousness is dumb and filthy rags in the sight of a holy God. And careless and profane sinners must wake up to the fact that they will perish unless they seek the mercy of God in Jesus Christ. Without coming to a realization of their true nature, of their sin, of the burden of their sin, they will never receive rest. Forever and ever they will lack this perfect rest. But the promise of rest is to all those who labor and are heavy laden. This call describes those who receive the rest. They labor under the intolerable burden of their sin. They cry out to God in anguish of soul over their sin against which they fight day after day. This is their constant experience. This laboring is in the present tense. All ye that labor in the present tense. Continually ongoing laboring to the point of exhaustion. Is that you? Do you recognize yourself in this description as a laboring one? And as one who is heavy laden? Do you wonder if your sins could possibly be forgiven? Are they perhaps too vile and too revolting. Is there hope for you? Do you wonder that? Are you crushed, almost crushed by the intolerable burden of sin as you stand in the presence of a holy God? Are you ashamed of those sins which you have committed and which you continue to commit? Are you exhausted by the struggles over your sin? Then Christ calls to you, and he says, Exhausted sinner, come unto me, and I will give you rest. And if you experience this in your own soul, <coughs> if you understand this, and if you have felt this, then you must know this too. But only because of the work of the Spirit of Christ in your heart do you feel this burden of your sin. By nature, we cannot have this burden. We do not experience this burden. We may have the odd pang of conscience. We do not seek after God. We have no hunger or thirst after the righteousness of God. And we do not feel burdened over our sins. The opposite is the case. By nature, we love our sins. We follow after them greedily hoping to sin more and more and more. And the only thing that stops us is that annoying conscience in our head. And if we could get away with it, we would sin as much as we possibly could. But God, by a mysterious work of his Holy Spirit, works in the heart of elect sinners and brings them to understand that terrible burden of sin under which they are laboring and heavy laden. And when the Holy Spirit causes a sinner to experience that burden, he also causes that same sinner to hear this voice of Jesus Christ. And so the sinner hears this welcome sign. Come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
And the sinner says, That's me. <coughs> I'm one who is heavy laden. I'm one who has a burden of sin. Christ is calling me. And so the sinner comes. He comes running to Jesus Christ, seeking that rest which Christ promises. He's drawn irresistibly by the sweet voice of Jesus Christ. Now, there are none who are excluded from this call. Notice little word all. <coughs> Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. All laboring and heavy laden sinners are included. Let no thirsty, despairing, spiritually bankrupt, and guilt burdened sinner think that he is excluded. Christ calls you, and he promises unto you, burdened sinner, that he will give you rest. He purchased that rest for all those who labor and are heavy laden, and they will receive it. So, beloved, come to Christ. Keep coming to Christ. And he will give you rest, now and forever. Amen.